Good morning, my loves. Another very bright, very, very bright day. So I have the blinds closed. Wow, it's, I think the high today is 108, 107. So yeah, gotta love Arizona in the fall. Oh yeah. So just real quick, earlier I posted that inside every angry child are emotions and feelings they didn't know how to express and they don't understand them. And inside every angry adult is that angry child. As adults, I want you to think about something. Now this may not pertain to your family necessarily, but just think about kids in your neighborhood, in your church, wherever, okay? You have seen people, maybe you were a child that experienced this, and Adults would say, oh, you're going to be just like so-and-so. You're turning out to be just like, or don't you dare turn out to be like. And they say this even to infants, and they're planting a seed. They're planting a seed of you're not worthy. Because this child may not understand the verbiage, but they understand the tone. They understand anger, disrespect. So you have somebody that for the first three or four years of their life, that's what they hear. You're gonna be just like so-and-so. And then they see how you treat this person. They see it with their own eyes. They hear it with their own little ears. And they interpret that as being, oh, well, that's how they're gonna treat me. That's how they feel about me because they're telling me I'm going to be just like them. So they're telling this child they're never going to be worthy of love and respect because they're going to be just like this other person. They're labeling this child and that little child is going to live that label because that's how the world works. And that's awful and it's not fair. You have a child in a toxic home environment just imagine what, or maybe you were one and you know what you went through. The name calling, maybe there was physical abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse. And if you went through that baby, I'm sorry, I will help you get through this any way I can. So you understand the pain. So somebody that hears that when they're four, all the time. And yeah, the parent may turn around 15 minutes later and say, oh, I love you, but they still said, those hurtful things. You can't unsay it. That child is going to remember it. Honey, I remember things said to me when I was four years old that cut me to the core. And I carry that to this day. It happened to me, it can happen to anybody. You have to heal those wounds. And it's not fun, but it can be done. So you have a child four or five that's upset and angry, confused, they didn't do anything. You know, they're just breathing life. And parents, adults, other kids maybe, are labeling them losers, stupid, mean, worthless. That's a lot. So when, you know, adults are projecting their venom, their insecurities, their anger on a child, they're burdening that little child with adult feelings and emotions. That's gotta stop. That's not right, not right. So when that child is 12, that child is gonna start acting out. It may start self-harm, cutting, drinking, drugs. They may start gravitating toward an unsavory group of friends just because they're accepted and not judged. That's not good. And when that child grows older, there may be more violence, crime involved, possibly. I'm not saying there will be, but there could be. And then you have the angry adults. These people grow into angry adults. I'm gonna hurt you before you hurt me. They're angry, they're bitter. Maybe have drug and alcohol issues, dependency issues, mental health issues. And where did it start? from somebody labeling them that they're no better than whomever, 
they're going to turn out just like so-and-so. It's not fair. It's not right. And as adults, there is something we can do about it. If you see a child that's going through this, fill that child up. Every child has a gift. It might just be a beautiful smile. Maybe they have writing potential. Maybe they're an artist. Maybe they have a beautiful voice. They could play the piano. They're good with their hands. They can build or fix things. Find their passion and build on it. Compliment them, build them up. Let them know they have value and help them learn to love themselves, please. Every child deserves love and respect, but they have to learn how to love and respect themselves too. That's where we come in. I don't wanna see kids go down the wrong path and we see it every day. Kids in horrible home environments that can't wait to get out so they run away. They try to escape. You can't blame them for wanting to escape. It's just the avenues they choose are very bad. You know, instead of going to a teacher or, you know, going to a, a church leader and saying, we're having problems at home, they hit the streets. That's when you get into child exploitation, prostitution, trafficking, horrible things, horrible, horrible things. Let's find a way to help the kids so that doesn't happen. Let's find a safety net for them, please. Let's teach them how to love themselves, that they are worthy of love and respect. Just because somebody says you're bad in math or you're stupid or ugly doesn't mean it's true. That's just one person's opinion. I think 10 people's opinion outweighs one person's opinion. So if we get a community behind people saying, honey, you're brilliant, you're beautiful, I don't care what anybody says, that's gonna make a difference in the child's life. Let's start today, okay? Please. And just because you were an angry child, maybe you're an angry adult, give me a call. I'm at nexiawellness.com. Just look up my name under practitioner. Let's get started on this.